hey welcome back ladies and gentlemen now we need to make this more user friendly by adding uh, pagination as well so we can go to the next page previous page etc and also we need some date uh, selectors here so we can select what dates we want to view the information given maybe from this date to that date etc etc so at least with those two that will make it a little bit more user friendly then we can move on to adding graphs but before we do that let's get back to something we may have missed here at the point of sale um, if we go back to the table and let's go to products table you notice that there's a views column here and they are totally at zero for now and the order mechanism is for views here so the point of having views for these items is that if an item is used the more it's used so the more the user clicks here it should come to the top here that way it makes it easier to click on it instead of having to search all the time so if let's say for example there are a thousand items in your system and there's one item which is very far close to the end you always need to search for it in order to add it which may become annoying it would be good if it just comes to the top depending on how much it is used that way you just click with your mouse so let's add a system that will do that for us so back here um, let's go to where uh, we are saving information so we are using the Ajax thing here to save right so this is the checkout in the Ajax controller and right above about here read from database right so we are reading data from the database in the products table okay so every time we read an item and find it which is right here we should add to its view by one okay so we add one to the view so right here where we are inserting into cells we can just duplicate this part here like this and just put some comment here and say um, add view count right for this product so how do we add a view count that's very simple what we can say is say uh, we can say update cells okay so we say update cells and then we set a value so we say set views is equal to views plus one so we just tell it to add a plus one to it now which row should it add to so we need to tell it that in the where clause now luckily we have all the information right here from the row and let's see here no from the check right there okay so we can either use the barcode or we can use the ID but I would rather use the ID instead so we we'll say where um, here we need to make an array but let's just make the array directly in here so I'll just put brackets put ID and then put the fat arrow and uh, let's do that we say check and id like this okay so this should work okay with these guys here okay so that's a value from one array and this one is another array in there so we'll say here where um, id is equal to id and say limit one that way it can exit just after incrementing from one so update sales set views let's make sure that's the column name it's views okay good so let's test it and see if things do work out so what i want to elevate is this one right here so I'll just add this a bunch of times maybe twice at the checkout and the value let's add 30 and enter change great very good let me refresh nothing has changed here but let's look at the the table itself 
Okay, so the view count hasn't changed either. So why is that? Hmm. Let's come back here. DB query, update sales, set views is equal to views plus one, where ID is equal to ID. This looks pretty straightforward, so I'm not, I'm surprised as to why it hasn't worked. Let's go to sales and see if we did add. Okay, yes, we did add it. That's cool. Biscuit. Mm. Okay, so what seems to be the problem? Selector from products, check is array, check is zero, check ID. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, see, I'm sending to the wrong. It should be products. Sorry. I don't know why uh, I missed that. Anyway, uh, let's add it again. All right to that. Great. Now, if I refresh the page, okay, nothing changes here, but let's see if. Um, in the products table we got okay so we have views is equal to one that's nice okay so if we add the product again we should see views is equal to two let's get back and let's browse again okay so we have views two so the views are counting like this but now we need to add this to when we are reading from the database so ajax we go back to the search feature and we are going to have to prioritize uh, to prioritize the views. So here you see where it says that blah, 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 limit that. Okay, so we are limiting 10 items, okay? Maybe that's a little too low. We can go to 20, but we can say here order by views, right? Now there's ascending and descending. So the bigger the number, the more popular it is. So we need to start with the bigger numbers, which is descending order. So in the same way down here, once we search, wait, get all, get all. Okay. So if it's not empty, we'll search like that. But the get all as well, it needs to have um, an order. So let's see how this function works. I'm going to hover on the function and the definition and click there. So it will take me right to the function itself in the model, the PHP. So it does have limit and it does have offset and it does have um, the order, yes, and the order column, right. So let me just copy this order of things here and so I can use it. So copy back to the Ajax here. And what I'll do is let me put a limit here so that I can use that instead. I'll say limit uh, is equal to 20. That way, I don't have to change it on both places if I do change it. So I'll just say limit right there. Okay, good. So down here, I'm going to put that as a reminder of the order of things. So limit here, I'll just put the limit itself from the top there, comma. The offset is always zero here because we want to get the things as they are. We are not going to page two or we want page one always. And then the order is obviously descending and the order column is views. Very good. All right, very nice. And also, if we go back to the home view, we need to, do we need to refresh the page? Do we? Hmm, this is a tricky one, but maybe it's not necessary. Maybe it isn't. Refresh, and there we go. Our thing is at the top. Let's see if we can get something else to move and let's get this one clear. Let's get this one to be next to this one. So click and let's check out and uh, 100. 
Now it doesn't look like it has moved because it doesn't refresh the page, but if I refresh, you see it there. Now I want it to refresh automatically here as things are going on. So in order for that to happen in the home view here, I just need to tell it to read the information again. And it does so already by this format down here, the very last thing in the script. So if I can copy this, it's going to work in my favor. Now, this should happen after the checkout, right? So after checkout, where is this? We refresh. So send cart data. This is exactly where the checkout thing is. And it says refresh display items. Okay. Items display. And then just after that, um, reload products as well. So let's move that here. That should work. Okay. So let's refresh. And I want to move this one closer somewhere here so I'll tap it a few times check out and let's put 15 enter and as you can see things have moved yes things have moved uh, let me click this one again let's see if it can move 30 okay doesn't look like it has moved because the number of views is the same if I click it again however it should move this time there we go, it's gone to the front. Okay, so that's one feature you can add to improve the user experience on your system. Okay, so we'll go back to the admin view in the next video.